So welcome to Pentrack. Pentrack is an application that's been developed to help organisations that need to install, inspect and track passive fire systems in buildings. So the application itself is built using FileMaker Pro and we use two maiden parts. One is WebDirect, which I'll take you through now, and the other one that we use is FileMaker Go. The WebDirect application, which we'll just sign into, provides a, the organisation with the ability to set up a job and then be able to assign that job to uh, users. In this case, what we have when we come into the WebDirect component is a number of menu items at the top of the screen. So what we'll do is we'll just show you how an organisation will go through and set up and then be able to get a job out into the field. So the first thing is we need company. Um, and in this case, if I go to the company, it gives me a listing of companies um, and I can view details about their company. What they can do in here is they've got the basic information around the, the, the company as well as their logo. This information is important. It's the information that goes into their reports once they've actually gone out and completed the installations. The next thing we all go through is they need to have systems. So systems are what a company would go and install. They represent the passive fire system that would be installed on site. In this case, uh, I've got a number of installation uh, systems here that have been set up, um, as well as we have the ability to be able to add, copy, or create a new one from scratch. If I go in and have a look at a system, it gives me a breakdown and further information on the system itself. So the system is, uh, it's, it's gonna be a 100 CCW, and I have a system name which is uh, copper cold water. So the system name gives you an indication of what the actual system is going to be supporting. If I look at the penetration, what it actually tells me is we're actually looking to put um, a copper 100 mil pipe through a concrete slab. So this gives you a bit of information about what's gonna actually be installed on site. In order to be able to protect that penetration, we actually identify the products. And in this case, we're gonna be using a couple of different products. One's a Trafalgar Fire Wrap and a Trafalgar Fire Seal. So these are the products that will be used in order to protect the 100 mil copper pipe. In terms of test evidence, when you're going through and putting a system into a building, you need to be able to show on what basis that system can be used. In this case, we've got a couple of reports here from the CSIRO that actually support the use of those products for the intended purpose. What we can do is uh, we can preview those that evidence, um, and I'll just bring up a report. So as we can see here, um, they've done a um, performance of service for the use of the Fire Wrap Elite 1.5, and there's an assessment report that talks to and provides evidence for using that particular system for this uh, use. And in which case, because we're using two products, we have two lots of evidence that have been captured. What we can also look at is the installation details. So this gives the information on how do we actually install um, the particular system that we're talking about. And again, if we look at the preview, we can actually have a look at how we actually install this particular product. So here is a report, report from Trafalgar on how to install their fire wrap product. So the other information for a system is a system can be approved and it can be approved uh, on a basis that it's a test report, an assessment report or a performance solution and when it was approved, as well as we have an audit history for that actual system. So, for a user setting up 
their, their company information, what they'll want to do is include all of the systems that they would install on site. Once we have the systems, we can actually set up our users. In this case, I've set up four test users. And through the user section, they can actually set up each user and activate their account, as well as identify what role the user has. So are they an installer, an inspector, a certifier, or an administrator? So these roles actually then get used in the system to allow the user to perform certain functions. So you can't certify a installation unless you're a certifier, for instance. So now that we've got our company, our systems, and our users, we need a site. And through the application, we can set up one or multiple sites. And looking at those sites, the site information that we capture is the details about the site. Layout talks to the different levels and sections within the site, as well as we can actually define jobs. So a job gets created against a site and the job inherits the information about the site. If I go to jobs, it gives me a listing of those jobs uh, and their status, and then I can go in and have a look at the job. So in this case, uh, the job itself is for Melbourne Quarter uh, for our plumbing company, and it's being done at the test site. So for this job, I can add in drawings. So drawings will show me um, the layout, and I can preview and update those drawings. So if I just do a preview, what it does is it gives me uh, a view of the job. And I can zoom in and have a look at the drawing and actually have a look at the installation points. The drawings are then made available through into the mobile app. So when people are on site, they can actually open up those drawings and view them. We can identify the team. So whilst we may have a number of users, you can actually then work, you can then identify which users are going to be assigned to which job um, and they can be added and removed and as you can see we've got their roles uh, which they've inherited. We can then identify which systems are applicable for each job. You then have your installations. So the installations are the points within the building that need to be protected. So through the application what they can do is they can actually import these uh, points from um, off from their CAD drawing as an import file and through the import process it just saves and makes it easy to import um, the installations. In this particular case uh, for this test site we've imported um, and there's about 1500 installation points and that can be for just two levels in a building. So a multi-storey building could have somewhere in the vicinity of 10,000 installation points. What we can also do is we can run reports. So the reports will be run after um, the installations have been installed, inspected and certified. So that's basically, once they've actually set that up, we then have a job ready to go. And once you've got the job ready to go, if I go into my jobs and view the job, this is where I can see for this Melbourne quarter, here is a listing of all of the install points and I can go in and view each install. And through the mobile application, which I'll talk to in a minute, um, they can then go and install, inspect and certify them. So the Pentrack mobile app is developed to run on FileMaker Go and it's used for those people in the field who need to go and install, inspect or certify a passive fire installation. So on the home page, the user is given the option to be able to select which job they're working on. They can navigate their way to be able to select an installation. They can scan and they can actually navigate directly to an installation based on a barcode. And they have the choice of being able to either use their camera 
or the photo library to be able to attach images to installations. At the bottom of the screen, uh, there's a consistent set of buttons and they allow them to navigate and have a look at the job. So the job provides you with a view of the installations for that job and the status. The select takes you to a select screen and the scan, as we said before, if they select scan, they can scan a barcode and navigate to a install. The add button at the bottom of the screen allows a user to be able to add information on the fly. In this case, they can add a level, a section, a system, or an install. If we then navigate to the Select Installation screen using the Select button, the user is presented with a screen that shows them a set of filters at the top, so they can filter on floor, section, system, or status, and that just reduces uh, or increases the listing at the bottom of the screen that they can select from. In this case, what we'll do is we're looking at level 12, unit 1, and the first two records are certified, and then we have one at the bottom that's not installed. The icons on the left of the screen show the status of the actual installation. If we go and navigate our way to the first one that's been installed, which is FW1201-2. Navigating to FW1201-2 will take us to the installation screen. On the installation screen you get a lot more information about that install including drawing information and information on the system that's been installed. If I click on the eye icon what we can do is we can actually have a look at the system and in which case this is a PVC pipe of 100 mil going through a concrete slab using an L100 FWS product and there's some uh, instructions there on the installation for the user. So they need to check the springs and remove any concrete. There's also links to be able to view the installation guide and the 2G drawing. On the installation screen, as you can see, a user can add more photos um, or view photos. What they can also do is add notes. As well as we've got two buttons here and because my role is a certifier, and this installation has been installed, I then have the option of being able to certify the installation. So to be able to certify, what I can do is zoom in and have a look at the actual installation itself by clicking on the image. Clicking on the image takes me to the bigger image and look at what's been installed. So as an inspector or a certifier, depending on the granularity available in the image, I may be able to inspect and certify this remotely um, or it may be able to identify that I need to actually go on site or go to the particular install to take a closer inspection. In this case the installation looks clean, there's a bit of concrete around the outside but it seems to be the correct service through the right product. So for this install what we're going to do is we're going to certify. It then takes us back to our previous select install and as we can now see there are three that have been certified in the list. So that's basically the mobile app. It allows you, as you can see, to be able to view, ins install, inspect and certify an installation. All of the information is then provided back to the administrator through the admin app available in WebDirect and from there an admin person is able to run reports and present the register of everything that's been installed including images back to their builder or the building owner.